Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Connie from Faf Designs. I am a brand ambassador for Dixie Bell Paint and today I'm going to be showing you a short video on how to use Dixie Bell's silk screen stencils. So the stencils um, come in various designs. I've got a few here, not all of them, but I have a few. So they do some really nice patterns. Um, each pack has three sheets in, which you can see on the back with different themed silk screen stencils inside. So like I say, I have a selection here, but not all of them. You can find the full selection at um, on Dixie Bell's website. So today I'm going to be using this one. This is patterns. So as you can see on the back, there's a selection of patterns and these are really good for giving a little bit of extra detail to your project. Um, draw sides, inners, um, things like that. For today, I'm going to be using it on this pull-out drawer of this drinks cabinet. So, there's a little bit of a story behind this. This is the pull-out drawer, so you can see it pulls in and out and it's where you prepare your drinks in your drinks cabinet. Now, this is wood and it had some staining on from the previous owner because obviously all the furniture that I use is pre-loved, vintage, um, second hand. So it had some staining and it was quite a pale type of wood. So you can see here, just see the trim. That's the color it was and it had some dark stains to it. So um, I tried to sand them out, didn't work. Tried a couple of different product products that I know sometimes list stains, still didn't work. So we're gonna work with the piece. I have, um, last night, I did a wash on uh, on this with Dixie Bell Chalk Mineral Paint. So a wash is just when you mix water and paint together. And this is in the colour Coffee Bean, which is a dark brown. So I've just done a wash over here, which does sort of disguise most of the stains. Um, and then on top of this, I am going to add some stencil detail. And hopefully that will disguise the um the stains because they're not going to sand out and i think they're a bit ugly obviously i can't leave them as they are so uh, we're just going to add some some pretty detail to it and hopefully it'll work out how i expect so what you need for silk tree stencils are your stencil you need a stencil brush is optional so in the pack i'll show you what you get in the pack so as well as your three designs, you also get a little tool, which is a squeegee. Now, because um, these stencils aren't like a standard stencil where you'd either hold it still or you'd spray adhesive it um, and stick it onto the, onto the surface that you're gonna, you know, you could spray mount it onto the surface that you're using to hold it steady, or you could tape it. These actually have an adhesive backing. So you peel them off the backing, you stick them on to where you want to stencil and it holds it perfectly still. And they are, there's no gap where you see the negative space where the paint would, would normally go, would, does go. This is actually a very fine mesh and you need to force the paint in. So Dixie Bell give you in the pack a little squeegee that you can do that with if you want to you can use a brush i've tried it both ways and you can use it with either so these are the patterns of this particular one which i will pop in the comments below so that's one sheet one sheet two and sheet three that's the one we're going to be using today so as well as the stencils and your brush, optional brush. You also need the medium that you're gonna be using the stencil with. So today I'm going to use Moonshine Metallics in Gold Digger. The reason I'm using this particular paint um, today is because I want to seal it afterwards. So I'll be sealing this whole project on the inside with Gator Hide, partly because it's a drinks cabinet and I want a little bit of extra protection. Um, and this is a uh, water repellent. So this is going to be perfect because if there are any spillages in the future on here, it'll be wipeable. So that's what I'm going to use today. 
So what you need to do, I'll bring you in a little bit closer <clears throat> if I can. What you need to do is make sure it's dust free. There are no bits sticking to it. I think, um, can I, let's, I'm trying to make it so that you guys can see properly. I don't want to uh, knock my tripod over. Right, so, yep, I think we're going to go for it. So, what you start off by doing is you peel the, the stencil off the back. Now make sure you keep this safe because these stencils are reusable. You can reuse them. Um, you need to make sure you wash them straight away so that none of the paint gets stuck in that fine mesh. Can you see? I don't know if you can see on camera, but that negative space, instead of a gap, it's a fine mesh. Um, and it just makes the stencils super crisp. And there's no messing around with tape, with spray adhesive or anything like that. You just line up where your stencil wants to go on your project. And if anyone suffers with, when you use stenciling, if you suffer with um, issues with bleed through or um, the stencil moving when you're... When you're doing your project, when you're trying to stencil, these are going to be a lifesaver for you because they don't move at all. That is well and truly stuck down. So press it down, make sure all the corners are pressed and then you can start stenciling. It is literally as easy as that. I'm just going to give my gold digger a good shape to stir all those beautiful shimmery pigments from the bottom <clears throat> okay oh and the other thing that you need if you are using a brush just have um either a rag or um some shot cloth ready just to dab off excess paint and make sure your stencil brush is dry um this one it's a bit damp still so i'm just going to get the excess water off because I don't want my paint watered down at all. So the technique for silk screen stencils is very similar to a standard stencil. They are a little bit more forgiving if you do use a little bit more paint, but you don't want any water. So dab the excess off onto your rag and just stencil away. Every time you load your brush, just make sure you dab off the excess onto your rag before you add it onto your project. So with stenciling, um, there's no real right or wrong way to do it. Some people pounce, which is basically moving the brush up and down in a pouncing motion, stippling, pouncing. Some people swirl it on. Um, and like I say, these silk screen stencils, they are much more forgiving with bleed through, which is basically, if um, you don't know what the term bleed through means, it's when the paint seeps underneath the stencil and you don't get a very crisp edge um, that's what bleed through is so if you do have issues with bleed through on your stenciling projects these are going to be a lifesaver for you so there's a couple of different ways you can do it you can swirl the paint on I'll try and do it with my left hand so that I can show you what I'm doing as I'm going or you can use the tool in the pack that Dixie Bowl provide which is the squeegee
just be careful on the edges here the patterns do run very close to the edge so just make sure you're not going over too much this is where the squeegee would probably come in quite handy because you can get it right up to the edge in fact let's um let me show you the difference so just pop some paint on <clears throat> like that and you use the squeegee to just push it push the paint sorry this angle of the camera is not great but you get the picture you just run the paint um squeeze it into and it just gives you a really really solid solid line need a tad more paint in this corner and it is quicker with the squeegee but like I say each to their own you can use a brush or you can use this little handy tool and you can see real close up or you don't think you'll be able to pick it up on camera but I can see where the gold hasn't hasn't gone through all the mesh so just make sure when you are looking at your project you've got full coverage of the colour that you are using there we go you can see how crisp that stencil is and those those lines they're super crisp so I'm going to carry on doing the rest of this and I'll show you once it's done the finished article so the complete pull out tray has been stenciled using the silk screw stencil with the gold digger through it. Looks fab! Okay.